Welcome back guys. So it has been a long hectic week and our house is definitely showing it. To be honest, most nights I turned off all the lights and pretended like the mess didn't exist. So eventually it just piled up on me and um, I actually had a few hours to get all of this under control. So I'm going to show you guys everything I did. There are a few things on my list that I really wanted to tackle today. So you'll see that I kind of assess everything and determine what actually needs cleaning so that I had enough time to do the things that I've been wanting to do for a while. So if you guys do enjoy this video, make sure to give it a thumbs up and I can definitely do more cleaning videos. Subscribe before you go and let's go ahead and jump into it. I wasn't sure where I wanted to start, but I went ahead and started in the living room so I could tackle all of Sebastian's toys and just put them away. It looks like a big mess, but it's really not that hard because I have a little toy bin where I can just throw everything in. And then I kind of tuck everything off to the side of the sofa because it keeps everything really hidden, but at the same time, it's easily accessible for him. And then I just continue to tidy up the rest of the living room. Wanna move my feet. Wanna drink my wine. Wanna move my feet. By the way, is anybody else suffering from seasonal allergies? They are seriously killing me right now. As you can tell, I have tissues all over the house. So I'm getting a little bit of help from my Roomba to vacuum this room while I tackle the rest of the house. It does a really good job of going underneath furniture. Now this Roomba doesn't do as good of a job as my vacuum cleaner, but this room is pretty much clean a lot of the times because this is where Sebastian plays. So I just really needed a little bit of help so that I could go in and mop later on. Um, so I just let the room and do its thing while I moved on to the rest of the house. As you can tell, we had pizza and popcorn last night and we were just so tired that we just left everything a disaster and went to bed. Um, so I did have to clean all that up today. And then I just went ahead and wiped everything down. If you guys are curious what cleaning products I've been using, they will all be listed in the down bar with the names and where you can get them and all of that good stuff. This is one of the things I've really wanted to get to today is cleaning Sebastian's high chair. This thing is incredibly filthy. The good thing is that this chair in particular is super easy to take apart and you can really get in there and do a deep clean. So I took all the straps off and as you guys can see, they are filthy. And then I went in and vacuumed up all of the little bits that kind of collect underneath the chair. By the way, you guys, in case you missed my video last week, I am giving away a cordless Dyson vacuum cleaner. So check the info box for how you can enter. Um, so after I vacuumed the bits, I went ahead and wiped everything down. I spray cleaned it. And then at the very end, I went in with disinfecting wipes. I get a ton of questions asking how I'm able to maintain white and cream color furniture having two dogs and a baby. So today I'm gonna to share with you guys my little tips and tricks. Mainly for me, the key is prevention. So the moment that I buy any type of light colored furniture, I make sure to protect it with a fabric protector. In this case, I use Scotchgard. But before I Scotchgard it, I go in with a limp brush and just make sure that all of the dirt is removed. And then I go through and spot clean. So since these have already been scotch guarded, everything wipes up so easily. I just get a clean light colored rag with water and you guys can see everything just wipes off. Sometimes I do have to scrub a little bit harder, but most of the time it just scrubs right off. And of course, the longer it has been since I last protected them with a scotch guard, the harder it is to remove. So I do go through with just water and most of it comes off and whatever doesn't come off, I will go in with a cleaning solution and I really like this one. This one's called Folex and I, instead of spraying it directly on the chairs, I spray on the actual rag and then I wipe it down. This is so important before you scotch guard your chairs Otherwise, you're going to set those stains permanently. So you want to make sure that they're nice and clean. If you already have light colored furniture and you don't have a protector on it, you can still remove the stains and protect it later. You can make a mild water and dish soap solution 
and just lightly go over the spots. Um, you really just want to spot treat your fabric. So once all the stains have been removed, I wait for it to completely dry before I take it outside and scotch guard it. So when I scotch guard it, I make sure to focus on the areas where your hands tend to touch. So like the arms, also um, the parts that you grab when you're moving the chair. So like the top of the chair and I make sure to do a really thick layer in these areas. And if you can't take your furniture outside, just make sure you open all the windows and you wear something around your nose so that you're not inhaling those fumes. So now it's time to tackle the rest of the kitchen. I'm starting off by just clearing off all of the counters so that I can wipe them down thoroughly. And I put all the food away, I throw the trash away, and I basically just put everything back in its permanent home. Then I'm spraying it down and giving it a good clean. I'm also cleaning the back walls, and I did skip the stove this time because it didn't really need it. And this saved me a lot of time so that I was able to get to the cabinets later on. Once everything was wiped down, I went ahead and put everything back in its place. And this also gave me a chance to kind of rearrange things a little bit, keep things looking fresh. Every time I do these clean with me videos, a lot of you guys have questions about different things that I have in my kitchen. I always link everything down below. And if I forget something, just ask in the comments and I will add the link to it later on. So the last thing I'm tackling in the kitchen is the island and the coffee station. And usually I like to clean the island first. This time, for some weird reason, I did the perimeters of the kitchen first and then left the island for last. I think it's because I had a lot of dishes to do so I knew that the island was gonna get dirty again. So I went ahead and unloaded the dishwasher, put everything back in its place. Let me just say, after I did that huge Kanmari kitchen declutter, it is so much easier to put things back. Everything has a home and I don't have to sit there and try to guess where anything goes. I love it. Even though most of the stuff is dishwasher safe, I didn't want it taking up all that space. So I went ahead and ran the dishwasher and washed the larger items by hand. But first I did wipe down half of the island just so that I could place a clean towel down and I didn't get the dishes dirty all over again. So I don't even have a drying dish rack because I do not like letting my dishes air dry. I like just drying them and putting them away immediately. I feel like this just makes your kitchen look so much cleaner. So I went ahead and put everything away and then I wiped down the island completely. So clean the sink. I love cleaning the sink when I'm done with all the dishes and then hand drying it so that it feels really clean and it just looks awesome.
My poor cutting board was really begging for some TLC, so I went ahead and oiled it down. I went through and cleaned all of the appliances, the cabinets, and the drawers. This is something I hadn't done in a while, and you could see Sebastian's little handprints all over the place because he loves going into these cabinets and basically taking everything out. I'm running out of time, every day goes by so fast. And every moment counts, baby, I don't want to miss a thing. We can sleep under the stars, we can sleep under the stars, or hang out in hotel bars, driving somewhere in your car. We can sleep under the stars, we can sleep under the stars, under the stars. So my Roomba did die halfway through its cleaning, so I had to go in and physically vacuum the kitchen, which is fine because after wiping all the counters, I, even though I tried to scoop everything in my hand, some of it did make its way onto the floor. So I went ahead and vacuumed the entire kitchen. Then I went and got my steam mop and I steam mopped everything. I love this thing. It leaves my floors so clean. The only downside is I have to remember to keep distilled water on hand. I always forget to buy it and you're not supposed to use regular tap water because it can clog your machine. But other than that, it disinfects my floors. It leaves them so clean. Like I can walk around barefoot and I feel the difference and it doesn't use any chemicals, which is nice for Sebastian because he's still crawling. Let's make the most of this night. Come on, baby, take my hand. And we don't need to do the things we don't want to do. And that's everything I had time for today, but I feel like we did really well. We got so much accomplished. So I hope this video inspires you to tackle some of those things that have been on your to-do list. Give the video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. And also check out the giveaway that I have going on. I will have the link down below for you guys. I'm giving away Dyson vacuum cleaner, $500 worth of cleaning supplies, also a Sony camera and so many other things. So definitely check it out. And I will talk to you guys next time. Bye.